long overdue video. I promised one of my subscribers a while ago I would do it. Um, it's products, my favorite products that I like to use. These are not all of them. These are the ones that I've, um, I just brought out here because it's a lovely day in August and it's not as humid as it use, usually is around this time of year. But anyway, so I have a few items that I would like to sh share with you that my hair loves. The items I want to talk about is hair oil. I used to use organics, um, coconut oil all the time. I still use it on occasion, but um, I'll show you. Uh, look how much I've used. It's pretty much down to here. But I had this forever. Um, I used to use this every day, but after a while, I guess because of my hot water, my hair just drank it up and then was really dry the next day. So when I was at Mom's Organic Market a while ago, I found G Naturals. Uh, what is it called? I found G Naturals Hair and Scalp Conditioner. It's full of vegetable oils, herbs, vitamin B, rosemary, all natural stuff, and it's thicker. Sorry if there's hair in there. <laughs> but anyway, I use this a little bit, and this my hair likes more. Um, but I do like coconut oil, and I do suggest people using it. Use it, and if you can find this, if the coconut oil is too light try this out you won't regret it and it's natural so and it smells so good um now on to shampoo like i am not loyal to shampoo really because shampoo shampoo um as long as it doesn't strip my hair and it conditions it i'll use it until it's gone and try something else new but when i do need like real like to shamp clarify my hair like a sulfate shampoo to do a really good job I always go back to kinky curly's come clean uh, it's I've had this forever but it's down to here so I don't really use it that often and I know a lot of people say oh it's expensive but since I've had this forever it was worth every penny um, and there's Truly no harsh chemicals in there, no parabens, so why not? Now, on to the conditioner. It's from the same, it's, um, okay, now on to the conditioner. You know I like something when I actually buy the bigger bottle. It's, um, Kinky Curl is Not Today Natural Leave-In Conditioner. Um. I hear mixed reviews with people on this, but when I really need to comb my hair, like when it gets really, really detangled, I put this in there and comb my hair out like nobody's business, and I always go back to this. I've had this forever, so I don't use this all the time, um, but when I have to break out the big, big guns, this conditioner is one of my arsenals. And I recommend it for anybody that has really knotty hair, like that knots up real bad, detangles real bad, especially with little kids. I don't care, splurge on it, buy it, everybody will be happy, their scalp will be happy, your scalp will be happy. Another conditioner I like... It's 100% sulfate-free, paraben-free, and silicone-free. Um, <clears throat> Diva Curl 1 Condition. I like this uh, because when I mix it in with the styler, the same brand, my hair turns out like this or even better. And I have no hair oil in. So, this does condition well. It's, it's thick. Really nice scent. And... Yet again, a bit pricey, but since I have other stuff in my arsenal that I use, um, this is going to last me a long time, and it's 12 fluid ounces. And also can comb my hair, but if I truly need to, like, if it really gets tangled, like I said, I go to Kinky Curly, not today. Leave in. 
Now this one has been my favorite forever and I've bought this several times. This is the Recoil Correctivator by AG Hair Cosmetics. This stuff I don't use right now, but when my hair was long and I want to control it and um, it's a cream gel. Oh my gosh, this stuff was L-O-V-E to my hair. My hair loves this stuff. And um, right now I don't use it because <clears throat> uh, it weighs my hair down a little bit too much for my curl curls that I have now. But I will revisit it when my hair grows out a little bit longer. But I might just keep it this length. Um, this is 12 fluid ounces. Yet again, it's a bit pricey. But, since I have so many things that I like, I never run through anything I like all at once. On to my next styler. This one goes with the one condition that I showed you. I got the Diva Curl Alter Defining. See how much I like it? When I say I buy the big bottle, I love this stuff. Um, so Alter, Diva Curl Alter Defining Gel. It's really light. It's water-based. And a lot of people don't understand, like when you put it in your hair, it gets hard. But if you read it, it says, one, leave it alone, it'll get a cast. Then sh um, shake your hair and scrunch the cast out, and your hair will be soft. That's where my hair is right now. And this stuff with <clears throat> the Diva One Condition, for my hair, is a duo that I can't live without in my uh, bag of tricks for my hair. So, the ultra defining gel. I wouldn't with my hair. I don't think my hair would like the, the regular one. But I got the ultra defining gel and this stuff. My hair loves with this Diva One condition. Now, this is a fairly new product. Three Sisters of Nature Natural Curling Jello. If you follow my reviews, you see me rave about this already. Um, it's a nice gel. My, my hair, it's almost look like ice gel, whatever you call it. What's that? You know. But anyway, it has like a funky cherry smell, but it goes away. But this doesn't leave your hair hard at all. And your hair is defined. So if you want to look for a gel, this is about 10 bucks. I would go and visit the Three Sisters of Nature Curling Jello. On to the last one I want to share because this can go on forever because my stash is kind of huge. Um, is the Curl Control Defining Pudding. Now this doesn't really have a strong hold. However, I like how it makes my hair. See, it's down to here. Look at all that hair. It's down to here. But I like how it makes my hair feel. And um, I don't know how it will make my hair look in the summer. But in the winter, the curl controlling pudding by Beautiful Textures is a nice thing to have. Because it really has all these moisture, um, moisturizing products in the item that my hair just loves too. So... That's for it right now. I guess I'll call this a part one. I might do a part two. I'll see. But this is in my bag of tricks and arsenals. Um, if you have any more suggestions, let me know. I just can't believe it's like this in August. I'm sitting and there's a breeze. When does August in the East Coast around where I live have a breeze? But anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> And this, oh, and before I go, this is a second day hair. And what I have in my hair is these two items. And if you want me to show, show you my sleeping routine or how I revive it in the morning, let me know because I... Do not plot my hair. Hmm. But anyway, okay. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.